Three. Exactly. They're collector's items. I like the coyote one. It's the first time we've done one with first coyote. That's yeah, that one's really cool. That's a good one inside I can't the TV. Wait to get one. <laughs> I mean, come on now. I want to try to get one too, but they're like in a vault here at Ken's. I know. We they are nowhere to be seen in this building. Right? They just show up at those metal events. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna be online tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, outside today, socked in and it is so soupy outside. Might get some rain fog. The first of two fronts is going to be moving through. The first one weak, the second one a little bit stronger. Either way, we've got two fronts. We've got Fiesta. Lots to cover. Let's get to it. Live look around town right now. Again, socked in every direction. Mostly cloudy skies on a Monday. But we've been dry. Not hardly a break in the clouds. You can see some of those low clouds over Morgan's Wonderland Camp. And it's really hard. You can see how socked in we are over downtown. Let's head to Calaveras Lake. Where it's mostly cloudy, at least it's nice and green. Temperature wise outside right now, we're at 88, so it's warm. And with that humidity, the dew point at 70, it feels like 93. So this is a soupy atmosphere with the southeast winds sustained at 21. And then we're getting gusts closer to 23, 25 at Bernie, closer to 30 when you go up to Kerrville and Fredericksburg. So it is a breezy afternoon, and you see where all that wind's coming from. So here go dew points. They're responding. 70 for us. It goes up when you go east. 72 Seguin, Gonzalez, 68 Victoria, 72 George West. So it's a very humid atmosphere. Watch what happens with the frontal boundary. Now tomorrow we're going to still see a pretty soupy atmosphere out ahead of the front. But look at how quickly they drop off this time tomorrow as the front makes its approach with this drier air. 23 Rock Springs, 21 in Del Rio. So noticeable fall off on the humidity west, but not for us until next week. It's going to be a humid week, a humid start to Fiesta on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, humid days. And then that second front has the real dry air. As we head into next week, we're looking at dew points dropping nicely. So here's the position of that first front. We can already see some pretty decent rain out ahead of it. I mean, these are just showers. We haven't seen thunderstorms develop, but severe prediction centers put this region in a category three out of five, two out of five for Dallas, Fort Worth today and tonight to see some severe weather across this cold front or out ahead of this front as it pushes east into a really humid atmosphere. I mean, it's also very humid up in North Texas as well. So here's how we're going to play this out. Hour by hour could see some showers as early as 10 p.m. near Del Rio and Eagle Pass, close to San Antonio by about midnight. There could be a couple of overnight sprinkles or showers and then another shot at about 8 in the morning tomorrow and then we're done. So the probability is low and you didn't see much there. It won't be much. I mean, less than a quarter of an inch, maybe a few showers early Wednesday. And then the second front swings in a little bit of a better chance of rain with that one as we get closer to the weekend. So let's take a look at the seven day forecast. Viva Fiesta Papel Pacado on our seven day 88 tomorrow, 90 on Wednesday. So we're going to warm up and you can even say we're going to stay humid too. Here's a slight chance on Thursday opening day of Fiesta Friday as well, but there's a better chance Saturday and Saturday night. Unfortunately, at first weekend of Fiesta because Friday and Saturday, of course, you got oyster bake taste of New Orleans, a lot of great festival and fun. Now on Sunday, it will be a little bit cooler. 58 only up to 73 Audrey.